Hey everyone, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with ya. Wanted to do a video on my ammunition storage and my kind of my stockpile here that I have going on. It's uh, not a ton of ammunition, but I uh, just kind of wanted to show you what I do to kind of organize my ammunition when you get to you know having as much as I do. Uh, it's certainly not easy just kind of throwing them into bins and digging around whenever you need them. If you have some sort of organizational system, it definitely helps. Uh, first start off with, you'll notice that I have a multiple ammo cans and they're each individually labeled for what's inside of them. So 762 by 54 um, 380 auto, 9 millimeter, 762 by 39 uh, I have a one specific bin that's got a mix in it with some 223 12 gauge, uh, some 22, and then again another 762 by 54 r Now what I also do is I use a notebook and it's called Ammo Inventory. And what I did is I kind of went through each of my uh, calibers and wrote down where I got it, how much it costs, and what it consists of. And then when I use it, I kind of cross it off or uh, make a, a change as to um, how much I used out of it. So uh, it's a real good way of kind of keeping a track of how much ammunition you have of each different caliber and uh, the, the inventory that you have on hand. That way you don't run too low on something. Uh, another thing that I kind of wanted to show you was... Uh, how I'm actually storing this, as I mentioned, you'll notice I have tags on each of these that tell you what's inside of it. That way you don't have to open every single individual can to, to kind of see what you have. And let's see if I can get this in the camera shot here. Typically I like to uh, store my ammunition, and this is corrosive 762x54R. I like to store my ammunition in Ziploc bags if possible, but when you get to a certain amount of ammunition and uh, your ammo boxes, your ammo cans are getting full, sometimes that's not a, a feasible option just because you don't have the space available to do that. Otherwise, what I typically do is just stack in these cans as best as possible. And as you can see here, I'll pull this over a little bit so you can kind of see in there. It's just a box full of boxes of ammunition. And that works pretty well for me, guys. I guess if anyone has any recommendations on maybe a better way of doing it or uh, an easier way of doing it, I'd certainly like to hear it. But just to kind of give you an overview of what we got here, I'll just kind of get a close-up on these. We got uh, a 7.62x54R. This is the heavy ball. I got a full box of that. I got about 1,500 rounds of the 762 by 54 148 grain non-corrosive. I was buying that for my PSL, got through the Sportsman's Depot, and for a really good price, so kind of stocked up on that. I got some of the 380 Auto, which, uh, as many of you know, the pistol ammunition is running a little bit low on the market sh on the shelves at the stores. Nine millimeter. I got a couple boxes. I think 700 rounds total of this. Uh, Blazer Brass, which is pretty decent target load. Um, nothing special about it, but I think I paid $90 a box, so pretty decent price. I'm kind of storing that a little bit. Haven't been using a ton of it just because it's hard to replace. We have some 762 by 39. That's a full box in here. There you go, WPA Military Classic. I think there's about 780 rounds in there right now. And like I said, I use a uh, one box here just for some miscellaneous ammo that I don't have enough to, to buy an ammo box for. Or actually, right now, to tell you the truth, I think there was uh, a shortage of ammo boxes. And I got some 223 in here, some 223 from Blue 2208. I won his subscriber contest. I think I even found some American Eagle back there, 223, at uh, my local fleet farm. Uh, some 12 gauge uh, load. Uh, I do keep in these uh, safe uh, desiccare incorporated desiccant packs, and that kind of removes the moisture out of these boxes as they're being stored. That definitely helps out. And I got some old 8mm label in here for the Berthier carbine that I used to have. thought it was an interesting round, so I held on to a couple of them just in case I wanted to do something later on in the future with it, even though I don't currently have the Berthier carbine anymore. Sold that. Got some more 7.62x39, I won't open that up. I got this plastic MTM case, I think it's MTM. Uh, MTM, yep. 
And that's got a couple uh, bulk wind Remingtons in there. I think that uh, both unopened, so there's about a thousand fifty rounds in there of that. And I got uh, this actually came with its own ammo can. This is that uh, CCI 22 long rifle, six t uh, 1600 rounds. Bought that from Gander Mountain for later about a hundred dollars or so. And then another box of the 762x54R for the, the PSL or the Mosin Nagans. So that's kind of how I do it, guys. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit and kind of figuring out how you guys want to do your ammo storage or inventory. If you have a better way of doing it, would certainly like to hear it. Feel free to put a comment in the, the uh, box below and share that with us. Otherwise, uh, that's pretty much it. Hope it helps you out a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, uh, as always, appreciate watching and until next time, take it easy.